Welcome to Max Stars. Uh, this is the weekly forecast for uh, June 23 to 29. Uh, today, uh, Monday, June 23rd, the moon and sun are in harmony uh, toward evening time. And then after that, the moon opposes Saturn around 8 o'clock West Coast time. So we have a, a, a fine aspect between the lights, the sun and moon, and a not so comfortable aspect between the moon and Saturn. The Moon-Saturn aspect will bring up domestic issues, concerns about our life and our families and our work and our careers. Hopefully, the and most likely, the Sun-Moon triangle will help play off some of that negativity. And we can come up with some resolutions to our problems in a good way. On uh, Tuesday, the 24th of June, uh, the Sun is in harmony with the planet Saturn. And this is certainly good. Sun and Saturn are very different in their ways. They don't really hang well together. <clears throat> the Sun is light, bright, warm, generous in its way, where Saturn is cold and restrictive and punishing, oftentimes punitive. However, uh, as dour and sour as Saturn may appear, uh, our lives oftentimes will certainly run a lot better once we get used to uh, his final message of what he's trying to bring to us, which is to bring order and harmony and good health into our lives. So Sun sextile Saturn won't hurt us. It'll help us to be effective by bringing rhythm and order. On Wednesday, the 25th, uh, the Moon conjuncts the planet Uranus early in the morning, so we could get off to a bumpy start. A few surprises, a broken pipe, dead battery, that type of business often will come up under Uranus type of energies. Uh, all in all, uh, not a bad day. Uh, toward the evening time, the moon makes a square aspect to Pluto, and that can certainly dredge up all kinds of emotions, all kinds of feelings, memories from the past, and family business, that type of stuff goes on, moon square Pluto. Um, on the uh, 26th, on Thursday, we have the last quarter square of the moon, it's at 5 Aries, the Sun's at 5 Cancer. And basically, <clears throat> last quarter square is after the full moon, seven days after the full moon. So this isn't the time to be starting new projects. Actually, quite the opposite. This is the time to be finishing things off, perfecting things, kind of like doing the final shakedown cruise to make sure everything's working proper before you uh, make a go uh, after the next new moon. So, again, uh, 26th, uh, is basically a day of uh, maybe tension and maybe hard work, but with some completion. Now also, the planet Uranus uh, stands still and begins to retrograde on uh, the 26th of June. Uh, retrograde, or pardon me, um, stationary planets, when they slow down and seemingly stop before they change direction, uh, always make me squirm a little bit, uh, because stationary planets are hot and their energy becomes magnified. And Uranus is the planet of uh, innovation, awakening, uh, shocks and surprises, aviation, telecommunications, electronics and computers, all that stuff is the planet Uranus. So possibly we'll be in for a few shocks and surprises, possibly on the world scene. Um, on uh, June 27th and 28th, uh, actually the moon is in Taurus at that time, uh, and certainly uh, a series of very good lunar aspects on June 27th and 28th uh, bring us into a good weekend. The pressure's off a little bit. I mean, the big picture's not going to go away. We know that. But when harmonious aspects happen throughout the day, these are the days that generally we are able to flow through a little bit easier. And we can let down, let our hair down, and enjoy a bit. On the 29th, on Sunday, uh, Midday, the, uh, I should say mid-afternoon, the Moon makes a square aspect to Neptune and then uh, a square aspect with Mars later in the day. And this combination of energies can represent confusion and anger. Moon square Neptune can represent um, miscommunication or confusion or taking things wrong. And Moon square Mars can be uh, intense and um, reactive. It can bring that type of energy on board, I should say. So it's a good opportunity to test your patience and test your humility. And to certainly, I think the big lesson is for us to be able to forgive those that uh, haven't got the lesson yet, that might be rude or 
reactive in their ways. All in all, not a bad week. So let's go give some love. Let's go enjoy life. All right. God bless.